Hey guys, what's up? John here from fly8mikealpha.com and today we're going to look at the quick and easy way to depart Class Charlie airspace because ultimately who really wants to talk to departure anyways? If you're flying a nice low slow airplane and you want to just fly it wherever you please, well then flying assigned headings and altitudes may not really work for you and as long as you're willing to operate safely and follow the rules then the sky's really open to you wherever you want to go. So utilize all that airspace the way you want to. Don't let somebody else tell you how to fly your airplane. We'll go ahead, get some ADIS here, and show you how it's done. Let's see, one, two, one, point uh -huh. All aircraft reach back runway assignment and hold short instructions. Advise on initial contact. You have information, Victor. All right, we got information, Victor. So you throw, you just hit any button. Then you can hit barrow and okay. adjust the barometer. Cool. So we got ground dialed up, and we'll go ahead and give them a call here. All right. Sarasota Ground, Experimental 312, Mike Charlie, uh, let go VFR northeast bound at or below uh, 1,100 negative services. We're at Dolphin, ready to taxi with Victor. Oh, okay. 1312, Mike Charlie, Roger, maintain VFR below 1,100, squawk 0175. Squawk of zero one seven five for three one two Mike Charlie. Two Mike Charlie back correct runway one four taxi via Alpha. Taxi runway one four via Alpha terminal three one two Mike Charlie. Cool. Nice. So negative services so we don't have um have, don't have to deal with departure when we come out of here and you won't have to wait as long to take off so they won't sequence you they'll just send you out with the tower as soon as they can. Okay. So that part of the taxiway is closed. One four is that way, right? Yep, one four is that way. So he said one four via Alpha. Yep. So we'll come out. I'll just stay on the ramp for a little while longer. Hey, experimental three one two, Mike Charlie. We can take like a uh, Alpha three departure. Two Mike Charlie, Roger. It's approved as requested. Runway one four Alpha three, taxi via Alpha. Runway one four Alpha three, taxi via Alpha three one two, Mike Charlie. Cool. we will save us a little bit of time. We certainly don't need uh, much runway with this thing. Yeah. So we've got our after start checklist is complete, before takeoff checklist. Kind of, we'll look through it here. We'll do flight controls. All Bring it around. <laughs> we've got our transponder set to altitude to squawk in the right code. We'll yep. do our run up once we get down there. Our flaps will be set to 20 for takeoff. Okay. Choke is off. Trim is set full up. And cool. we're complete down the line. We'll do the rest once we get down there. Nice. Our 20.1. That should be it. Checklist is complete. All right, navigation. Sarasota so Tower, experimental 312 Mike Charlie, ready for departure, runway 14, Alpha 3, north eastbound. Experimental 312 Mike Charlie, Sarasota Tower, good morning. Wind 070 at 10. Caution, wake turbulence. Departed the Sabre Liner more than three minutes ago. Runway 14 at Alpha 3. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff, runway 14 at Alpha 3. Experimental 312 Mike Charlie, good morning. Experimental 3 Mike Charlie, proceed on course northeast bound. Maintain VFR at or below 1100. On course northeast bound, VFR at or below 1100. Experimental 312 Mike Charlie. Cool. You're so good at repeating back. <laughs> don't work on it. Uh, all right, you can you can leave that open, or you can slide it closed a little bit, just so you don't have too much wind. We got a little bit of left. Oh, is yours closed? I just I slid it closed a little bit. Oh, I didn't realize I could just do it myself. Yep, totally. Oh, hell yeah. No power windows in here. All right, so we got a little left crosswind, and we'll go ahead, ease in that power. Tail's gonna go ahead and come up. Lots of right rudder. Full power, ease the stick back, and we're flying. Sarasota Tower, Cessna 3819 or Quebec, holding short runway 14, ready for takeoff. November 3819 or Quebec, Sarasota Tower, make right close. Yeah, so as soon as you take off, you reduce power just a little bit, and you come off the turbo, right close. so you're not over boosting the engine. Take off, 3819 or Quebec. We've got more interior feet, we'll go to flaps 10. Oh my god! And we'll go ahead and get out of this guy's way here. And 
time. We can go flaps up. We'll take one fuel pump off. Take the lights off, leave the strobes on. And VFR out or below 1,100 is the restriction. We're cruising. November 312 Mike Charlie. Remain outside of Class Charlie airspace once you leave the surface area. Squawk Do we even talk to air traffic control? Have a great day. All right, we'll uh, remain outside of Class Charlie airspace and squawk and VFR for change to prove. Experiment 312 Mike Charlie. Good day, sir. We'll just hit VFR there. It gives yep. us our 1200 code. And that's what he was telling us to do. You just say stay outside the Charlie airspace. So hanging right around 1,000 feet will be good. Then we, so we're clear of that Charlie shelf about another four miles up ahead. We'll be able to climb up. We'll be underneath the Bravo. Cool. And yeah, we uh, now we're actually done talking to him. Next frequency we're gonna listen to is get ready to go towards Sun Fun. So you got all those papers over there? Yep. Cool. Awesome. Well guys, that's pretty much all there is to it. When you make your initial call to clearance delivery, or in this case, ground control, since clearance delivery and ground control was combined up on 121.9, you just simply let them know negative services. You're gonna go VFR, outer below, obviously the outer shelf of the Class Charlie. You could even ask to go in it, but more than likely they're gonna grant it to you if you're going below that outer shelf of the Class Charlie airspace. And you simply say, VFR, what direction you wanna go, outer below a certain altitude, and they'll give you a squawk, and it'll just be like a Class Delta tower that you're talking to. You just treat them like a Class D tower as you get towards the edge of the airspace or just slightly outside of it. They'll go ahead and give you the frequency change or you can request it, you'll squawk VFR, and oftentimes they'll tell you to remain outside that upper shelf of the Class Charlie airspace, since that's really what approach control is looking at and towers really just more concerned with the surface area around the primary airport in that class C airspace. So that's really all there is to it. Give it a shot next time you're departing a class C airport just to try it out. If you're not looking to get flight following or anything like that, it might be worthwhile giving it a shot. For more helpful videos like this one, go ahead and check out fly8mikealpha.com, the private pilot ground school and all the other awesome courses on there and awesome videos online on the website. Your aviation quote of the day is, Fuel's limited, gravity is forever. Go ahead and think about that next time you go fly, guys. And as always, if you can't fly every day, then fly at MikeAlpha.com. We will see you all next time.